Justin, you've seen the, the first 10, 15 minutes, you started with the right intensity and you seemed up, up for it, but where did it all fall apart from your point of view? Yeah, we were right once again, you know, we were, we were ready to go and we started well and probably missed a, a couple of chances ourselves and um, then, you know, obviously the minute we make a few errors, we kick it out or we give a silly penalty on the last tackle or we hold the ball loose on play one and just give them a try, all of a sudden it's 16-6 at half time and, uh, you know, we would be better at keeping it at six all. Either don't make the errors to start with, or if we're going to make an error, then defend it. And that's what we're not doing, and that's why we're here with the score, what it is. And start the second half again with a real crack and compete half for 20 minutes. But the minute they get one, uh, instead of that burn 10 or 12 six, it's now 22 six, and we're chasing a game again. And then, you know, when you're. Uh, Playing well like the opposition are, they just you know it just comes down short kick off. It must hit the line by a centimetre. They just they, they take that chance. You know we had an early drop out. They went short. We had three guys standing there. No one dived on it. One of their guys did. So we just um, you know falling just short in a lot of areas, and it's ended up a you know, big score line against us. Is that a mental the, the the tries in bunches? I think after the Cronulla game, you talked about that. That. You can see one, but you can see three. Then that it happened twice tonight, where you conceded three. And is it a, is it a mental is it a mental thing? Do you think? No, oh, it's it's both. You know, it's the ability to to uh, defend it that that we're not doing. You know, we we're always um, you know going to be put in that position, and we had to fight our way out of it, and, and we didn't do that. Where do you go from here, Justin? not many players you can bring you get the orange Tino back and Dave in a couple of weeks but what do you do yeah well obviously um, you know we've got to just keep getting on with it and stretch those periods that we're playing well for longer periods and we can't have the, the bad periods that's that's what we're doing at the moment and we've been doing it for a long time and that's that's what's killing us so um, yeah it's not so much about players back it's, it's just competing harder you know obviously Mate, they were missing some Origin players. Obviously, we had Dave out, Phil. We've got a couple out. Paddy Herbert will be, you know, right to come back in, which would be good. But now we've lost JC, so um, yeah, we've got some uh, got some work to do um, for next weekend. What's the latest on JC? Oh, he's done his hamstring. I don't know how how bad till he gets a skin on it. But you know, the minute the minute he went went off the field with him, we, you know, we didn't look a real threat in attack at all. So um, it's, it's a worry. AJ, just sort of throwing it in when you concede one try. Like, how do you explain three and eight minutes twice in a game? Well, we're definitely not throwing it in. I mean, it may look like that, but we're behind the line saying all the right things, you know, get back into the grind. And I thought we defended a half decent set. I think they got to about halfway, give us six again. Just a silly, ill discipline six again. And then just lack of um, resilience to defend our line and just not showing any pride in our line at the moment. But it's not like, you know, we're not, we're not trying to defend it, but we're just. Just not, just not getting it done at the moment, and it's happening in patches, like you said, and it's quite consistent at the moment. And I think it is pretty mental. I think we can show that, you know, we can hold it with teams, which we do for long periods of time. And then there's 10, 15 minute windows where we look like we've never played together before. We don't care. So um, I think, yeah, we've got to keep at it. But at the moment, it's just nowhere near good enough. Tino on the sidelines tonight. Did he have much to say to you, mate, after the game? Oh, I didn't haven't had a chance to speak to him after the game. Half time, he was just. Um, you know, just saying what he thought and little tips and that, which, you know, we're all kind of on the same page. We thought, um, <clears throat> I felt pretty comfortable, not comfortable, I felt pretty confident at halftime. Uh, I know they were up 16-6, but I felt like, you know, we were matching their energy. They just had that five minute period where they scored three tries and I felt still confident in the second half. But then, like Justin said, once you let in that one and they're coming home with momentum, it's 22-6, you start, you know, start trying to flick it out of the back and start, you know, high risk things kicking short, not getting it back and then you defend your line again. So. We're putting ourselves in hard positions to, to chase points when, like Justin said, when it's 6 all, we should get back in that grind, go another 20 minute period. And then you know, if you get half time at 6 all, it's a whole different game. You come out for a 20 minute grind there and they score and they're up by four or six, you, you're still right in the game there. But at 22 6 or 20 minutes to go, we're still in it. But you, you, start, you start playing differently. You start trying to score tries rather than just keep com completing and getting in the grind. They go sideways a lot, Justin. Is that how you want this team to play? Or oh, that's like AJ summed up, mate. When we're getting behind and and we're looking for for ways, and, and that's um, 
not what we want to do, but it, it, it's a hard position that we're getting ourselves into. So uh, I thought AJ summed that up beautifully then. You know, at six all, you're not all of a sudden looking to score. And uh, as you said, we're going sideways. And then when they up the ante on us and we shifted and dropped the ball and just gifted them one lock, we, you know, can't do that. And, and you know, even if they jag one, it's 12 six, but we, we just tackle two, we shift the ball sideways, drop it, and they run the length and score. Like we're trying so hard to get to six nil. He's trying so hard, and then we just go bang, bang, and 16-6. And then 20 minutes in the second half, we're trying hard. We're down there end, and we're trying hard, and we're, you know, but we're not coming up with enough, and then we're not defending it. So. Do you think this year's over? No, 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 not at all, mate. We know we're miles off, um, but, you know, we're going to keep working at it and um, string some wins together. Yeah, we're definitely uh, not giving up. As AJ said, we're not we're not even giving in. Like we just when you get behind like that, you try short kickoffs and they got every one of them back. We look like bundle them in a touch. They threw the ball back in somehow in time and dived on it. That that's what you do when you're playing well. You know the ball must have come down, snicked the line on the ten, and they just caught it and went the other way. Like they just you know we 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 hesitate with everything. And you know, I thought AJ would have scored himself in the first half. He sort of doubted it and threw it in. And Tanner Boyd's nearly there. Like just get there. Just you must have been. A blade of grass short, like that's, they're just big moments that we aren't winning. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we're on the end of a, a big score on the night against us.